want it, you have to grind for it. Exactly. Nothing comes easy. So, um, I, so. What's the name of this uh, people's player? I don't know, but either way, we're seeing a patient play from both players. Oh, never mind. Now, this matchup is kind of hard for Mario. Oh, nice, nice neutral. Right? Blue go. Blue go. All right, we got blue go versus Croc. Oh, good oh this is it. Oh, I like this. Good edge guarding from Croc. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I thought he might have been able to get the stock, but um, I thought he was gonna get it too. Yeah, maybe he got a little flustered. Who knows? Yeah, it, it, it like, oh, he flubs that. It's recovery. a totally different environment, right? Because first of all, it's hot in here. Oh, it's very. Everybody's hot. hands are sweating. Oh no, and he just down B to neutral for oh. no reason. Oh, oh and he drops so down. Oh no. And he goes down two stocks just like that. It's been under a minute. Yeah, and in this matchup, it's no no, no joke. Oh, nice down smash. You really caught him off guard. Yeah, but he, all he got was percentage. He didn't get any uh, advantageous situation. Kirby, or Pikachu's back on stage. And harassing him with these up airs, 42% already on, uh, on the green Mario. Not a Luigi. No, it's a green Mario. Very different. Everybody take note. No dragon punch coming out from this guy. So he's at such a high percent that it's not you can't really combo him or anything. So you need like a straight up smash or something to get that kill. Because you're not gonna get a nice or back throw. You can't really combo him anymore. So these no. up airs that uh Kronk is doing, they're not really gonna finish him off. Maybe like a jab back throw if it's uh, close enough to the ledge. Back throw will work. But uh, yeah, up smash will definitely kill. He's definitely gonna have some like arthritis trying to kill this guy. Like it's getting too high. I mean, like that. 119. Pikachu's too old to die. That movement from Kronk is actually pretty nice on the platform on the right side before. Oh, nice plot drop back here yeah, to close up the stock. It. Yeah, good job from Kronk. He's still two behind, but yeah, if he plays like that. Yeah, if you just keep playing solid, that's the thing that I've kind of learned, especially like playing a character where you you get gimped easily. Like, just keep your head in the game. You you it's Take easy to get it's easy to get into the mindset of I need to land this, I need to land this, and I'll be back in it. I need to land like no, keep playing your game. If you don't get flustered, don't abandon your game plan because that's when they can really start punishing you. I, I agree. You gotta be really smart about what you're doing. You can't lose like composure. You have to keep it composed. Yeah, exactly. Don't and let the nerves overcome you. It's really and and the other thing is like a lot when you're down like that, it becomes obvious that you're going to go for so, uh, a hail mary type attack. Oh yeah. Because you're flustered, you're running at them, you're doing random things that aren't gonna work because you don't know what you're doing. You might not get the place. Ooh, he down smash? likes this down smash, yeah, and it's good. Smash. It's okay. got great range, you know. Kronk should not be doing mashing that down B so close to the stage. Yeah, it's That's true. That's more of a tactic. <gasps> oh, oh, and Pika was dead. I know, but he had, had to recover. He had to recover. Pika, I think he could have waited a little bit longer to make uh, Pikachu in a different area. So. You don't want to match that close to the stage. Yeah, it's very punishable. Uh, a little laggy screen. Yeah, our monitor's freaking out a little bit, but it's all it's cool. It's cool. We can keep it. We can keep it uh, running, you know. Oh, uh, almost a good edge guard. Mm. Or uh, I mean recovery. Yeah, he like was. Of course, when you get that close to the sweet spot, it's obvious, right? So it's like blue go. He's so close. I've never heard of blue go. It's on our screen. Do you know anything about blue go? I do not, except that he just uh, trounced uh, <laughs> he trounced Kronk in yep. game one. Here we go, a Pika player looks like they're running it back. Yeah. Um, we cannot see the screen. No, it's okay. We'll do it right here. Alright. So, game two, best of three. Mm -hmm. um, if it's anything Harassing like last with game, the up airs on that side time. flat, Kronk is like getting kind of flustered, I think. Uh, he landed the down air. But nothing off of it. Nothing off the situation. Now uh, we're back oh, to neutral. Oh, that's read. Oh, that was a bad up smash. I wonder if he was hungry or if he was just going for a. Uh, I think it was up like air. a hard read type of thing. It might have been just he, he messed up a, a up air. Oh, that was a great zap. Oh, I think the might have been better in that position. Yeah, of course. I mean, if they're shielding, right? Yes. But. Uh, Oh, oh now he even heard the forward nice. smash come out. That was cool. Goodbye, Kronk, to get that Daredevil smash finish in the stock. And yeah. now, look, he's in the lead right now. And something to note for Kronk is that uh, I haven't seen Lugo like, really smash the eyeing that drill very well. So, um, 
so maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he doesn't have the DPI. Yeah, so like he sh he need uh, that should be something that Kronk should keep close. You know. Yeah, I definitely. Realize he can that. abuse the drill a lot more. Oh shit! Oh, good back throw. Get him off stage. Not gonna get that edge guard just yet. Oh, Luka again! Luka loves that forward smash. Yeah, it's working really well right now. Kronk doesn't really know how to handle it. I don't know if um, you could like roll on stage, that would get you past it, maybe get up attack, past the Oh look, even oh, again! Tech in place gets covered. He read that. Oh, is this another f smash? No. Oh, he did take the eye behind him that time. Good DI too. I love I love seeing meatballs all over the stage. Makes me so hungry. You know they're seasoned well, right? And they're hot, fresh out of the oven. <laughs> oh, Alright, so just spice spacing the whole time. Yeah, very careful play from both players. Oh, oh he went out there for got it. The double back there. <laughs> he wants he it. His jump. Nah, he just Kong, two stocks down now. Let's see if he can bring it back. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, the, the oh, 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 that was come that on. was that was clean. Oh. He. Caught him with the fireball, leading to the stop. That yeah. was nice. What that was. I I feel like that was all planned out too. Like he's been in that situation before. Like that's that's what he's been going for this whole time, type thing. I I understand what you mean. Yeah. Oh, uh, and now he's adapted and he didn't get hit by that forward smash. Good on him. Yeah, exactly. Throw these fireballs. Oh, he makes it back. Oh, no, oh the ledge hop there again. Is he doing that oh, like do every one? time? Oh, oh. Roll. forward smash misses for once. Oh, good. Oh, he got to the ledge, but he keeps doing that ledge hop. Ledge hop's not. Ledge hop's one of the most unsafe options you can choose from the ledge. Yeah. It's of course, it's it's gangster, and if you get it, then good on you. You'll be, you're back to the stage and maybe hit them. But yeah, uh, if you're getting back that way, you're most likely gonna. Yeah, it's like a very predictable option and uh, very risky because you already used your double jump. Because normally when you're spacing with a with an aerial and neutral, you've only used your short hop, you've only used your first jump. So it's very scary to use your double jump like that. And we saw Kronk use it a lot in that set.